I know you don't know me yet, so uh, I'm going to ask you to trust me and close your eyes. I'll tell you when you can open them. While your eyes are closed, think about the images of Cirque du Soleil that you've just seen and let your imagination experience them. We all dream, but the results of dreaming are powerful and magical. It's the most important tool you could be equipped with in life. It's your imagination. Dreaming is about moving forward. It's about hope, love, and trust. It's about belief. It's about success. It's about creativity. It's about anything you can imagine it to be. It's about achieving the impossible. Impossible is only a word. Being able to make time to still dream is the future of inspiration. Okay, you can open your eyes. I hope you were able to let your imagination take you somewhere with the images that you just saw of Cirque du Soleil. I was standing backstage and I found myself a little moist in the eyes because it's the most fantastic company and a privilege to work for. Being able to dream is such a valuable commodity and only too frequently in uh, the hustle and bustle of uh, corporate and non-corporate life, we forget to dream. If we forget to dream, then we forget to live. And if we forget to live, we remain uninspired and just passing through. Cheetah Rivera, uh, a Broadway legend, who I had the privilege of working with a couple of times, she said to me, Mark, if you can inspire one person in your lifetime to change or influence the direction of their, their life, then you've done a wonderful thing. In 1996, dreaming took a whole new meaning for me. I was 31 and stage manager on Phantom of the Opera in London. It was the most prestigious job I could ever have had, and I had no intention of ever leaving. Why would I? I could buy a home. I could get some routine in my life, I could have stability, I could have everything I ever dreamed of. Little did I know that just around the corner were different dreams, new inspirations, hope, and opportunity, and that I would never stop dreaming. There is an expression amongst some of the artists at Cirque that uh, if you wake up and you don't feel pain, then you're dead. <sighs> For me, if you wake up and you can't dream, then you're dead. One cold Sunday, in, uh, it was an afternoon in uh, London, one of the cast members of Phantom took me to see a circus. I uh, guess we're all small children at heart, uh, so the thought of circus to me conjured up memories of cotton candy and uh, the smell of the elephants. And uh, I was thrilled to go. As a child, I remembered a little one ring circus that came to our little village and every year I went as uh, my birthday treat. So circus had always been something that had inspired me and something that had been there. And I guess I thought I was going to see 
something similar to that. Well, I can't tell you what happened that afternoon when I went to the Royal Albert Hall in London because I was transported somewhere that I'd never been taken before. And it was magical and powerful. And the memory that is forged in my soul still gives me goosebumps, chills down my arms, and <sighs> makes me believe. The circus I went to see was Cirque du Soleil. And the show I saw was Salton Banco. Here I was expecting something traditional, and I was literally transported into another world where all my dreams were possible. And my imagination had free range to explore. I was taken to a world I had never been before. And for the next two and a half hours, I was lost. Lost in this theatrical, nonsensical universe. I believed, I loved, I trusted, I hoped, and I was inspired to a level I've never been taken to before and have rarely been taken to again. For 20 minutes after the show finished, I couldn't speak. Such was the power and the magic of what I'd seen. I also couldn't speak because I was so frightened that if I did, that bubble would break and the magic would be gone. The magic was never gone. I did eventually speak, you'll be pleased to know. And the words that came out of my mouth weren't wow or what a fantastic show. It was, I have a problem. <laughs> I have to work for this company. Memories are what dreams are made of, but I think dreams are what memories are made of. This memory is probably the most important one I have, and this event transformed my life. I went home that night, and I wrote a letter about my inspiration, and the letter was to Cirque du Soleil. I took the letter to the stage door of the Royal Albert Hall the next day, left it. By the time I got home, there was a message from them on my answer phone asking for me to go and meet them the next day. You have to be careful what you wish for in life. So I went in, I met them, I fell totally in love. We courted each other for two years and then they created a job for me in Europe and I ran away to the circus. That was 15 years ago. Amaluna, which is the show I'm artistic director on and currently here in Edmonton, if you haven't gone. Um, Amaluna is our newest touring show, and Amaluna is the fifth Cirque du Soleil show I've worked on. First, I worked on Alegria in Europe, and then on Kidam in Europe. Then I went back to Alegria in North America. Then I worked on Zumanity, which is a little racy number, thank you very much. <laughs> Those of you that have seen it. In uh, Las Vegas, I did that for five and a half years. And then I went to Japan to do a show called Zed, which was a gem of a show. But sadly, uh, we experienced the earthquake and tsunami when we were in Japan, and the show closed, which was a great disappointment. Fifteen years later, 
through more than half of my professional lifetime and uh, half of uh, Cirque's lifetime. We're going to be 30 years old next year. I'm astounded that I continue to love, trust, believe, and be inspired. And hopefully, in some small way, I can contribute to the dreams and inspiration of others. When I met Cirque du Soleil, the world didn't know who we were. Then in 2002, we did the Academy Awards, and almost overnight, our brand became a household name. Now, Cirque du Soleil has brought wonder and magic and delight to more than 100 million spectators in more than 300 cities in 40 countries on six continents. That's pretty inspirational. And what a dream that has become in reality. But my talk today is about the future of inspiration, not about the past or what once inspired me. It's about what continues to inspire me. Cirque du Soleil, not surprisingly, continues to inspire me. How? How does it continue to inspire me, the audience, both old and new, and yet find ways to still transport us so that we can continue to dream and move forward and innovate? It achieves this in two unique ways. Every Cirque show has the same formula, but it's unique. Unlike most theatrical shows, our shows evolve. And we use the creativity of the artists that it engages. And each artist is encouraged to push their creativity, artistic and acrobatic, or specialized boundaries beyond borders and to set new goals, and to achieve, and to grow, and to blossom. If I'd stayed at Phantom of the Opera, it would have been the same show. Same costumes, same makeup, same everything. Just different people wearing the costumes. At Cirque, the single most important factor for helping stimulate the future of inspiration is the constant evolution of our shows and allowing its people to dream. As artistic director, I sort of liken part of my job to that of a master gardener. It's my responsibility to make sure that uh, everything gets watered, fertilized, the weeds get plucked out, if we uh, want to plant a new bush or a shrub, then it's my job to make sure I put it in the best place. I need to give it enough sunlight. I need to weather it through storm and drought. And uh, I need to look after it. The shows at Cirque change constantly. None of you will ever see the same show, because they evolve, and that's its beauty. So if you went to see Amaluna in Calgary last month, it would be a slightly different show in Edmonton, a slightly different show in Denver, and it will continue to evolve. The second most important way to move forward in inspiration is to find new ways to transport us. This becomes a more and more difficult journey for Cirque du Soleil. The more shows we have, the more we constantly dream and look for inspiration and images that literally take your breath away and take you somewhere you have yet to go. Shortly, I will introduce you to Lara Jacobs-Rigolo, 
the balance goddess from Amaluna. And my little campfire will uh, become obvious to you. During the creation period of Amaluna, which was in Montreal last year, I walked into the studio on my first day, and Lara was rehearsing on stage. There was so much going on, it was ridiculous in that studio. There were rehearsals everywhere. But Lara was standing on the main stage, and I was transported again. She had no costume, she had no lighting, it was just the rawness of the artist on stage in rehearsal. And she showed me something I've never seen before. And, oof, chills again. <laughs> I don't get chills a lot, but uh, when I talk about things that inspire me, I absolutely get chills. And she took me into a bubble or another vacuum that I so didn't want to come out of again. I was transported by the power of what I was seeing. And that really is the expectation, demand, and need I have of this company. I need to be inspired to invent, to reinvent, to push my boundaries, to challenge myself, and to take risk. I need to think outside of the box. We have a mission statement which says that we invoke the imagination provoke the senses, and evoke the emotions of people around the world. I hope we do that. I believe we do that, and I love that we do that. As long as there is inspiration, there will be creativity. As long as there are companies like Cirque du Soleil, dreams and creativity will be my future of inspiration. I hope to some extent they will also be yours. Please take the time to dream. It's powerful. When you were a child, you dreamt without limitation. Try to take yourself back to the time when you had freedom to dream, to explore, to trust, to believe. It was a magical time, and it still should be. We're all free to create and invent if we let ourselves. I was inspired when I first saw Circus as a child. I was inspired beyond anything I could have dreamt about when I saw Cirque du Soleil. Remember to dream as you now experience an act from Cirque du Soleil's Amaluna. Its uniqueness and its simplicity are very powerful, and I believe are the future of our inspiration. Nothing is impossible but it all starts with a dream.